Are we on? Okay, I think we're live. Welcome, Good everyone. Good morning, CS people. Woo! Good morning. Let's go. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning to everyone who is here with us. We truly appreciate your participation. Thanks so much for being here. Welcome to the 2022 <laughs> Constellation Summit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, just want to introduce everyone real quick. First, my name is Lynn Diaz. I am a director at the Constellation Center for Equity and Computing. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, this, this is the team. This is the team right here that helped to make this happen. So um, I want to give them a chance to introduce themselves. Brian, why don't you go next? Good morning, everybody. I'm Brian Cox at the Georgia Department of Education, your computer science program specialist. Happy to be here to support you and excited about today and tomorrow. Uh, actually, this whole week is going to be a lot of good stuff going on with yeah. CS Education. Um, so looking forward to connecting with you all during the networking mm -hmm. sessions mm -hmm. and hoping to provide you with something that you can use. Um, let's see. Yeah. Thanks, next. Brian. Well, LaVita, why don't you go next? Good morning, everyone. I am Lavita Williams, computer science specialist at the Georgia Department of Education. I'm excited to be here and I look forward to networking with you all and being able to uh, meet you all. We have a lot of exciting things planned, so I look forward to this event. Thanks for being here, Lavita. We're so happy that you've joined <laughs> Brian's team and our team as well, too. So thank you so much for being here. Um, I want to, uh, before Terry and Sababu introduce themselves, I just want to say a little bit about um, this whole entire team here. Um, they are really the ones who in inspire and motivate me uh, to do the work that we do. And uh, especially working with Terry and Sababu at the Constellation Center, um, who really drive uh, you know, our flagship program uh, with supporting teachers and our professional development. I uh, couldn't do it without them. So I want to, you know, thank them for their help um, and always, you know, for being who they are. Um, and I'm so happy that you get to meet them. So Terry, why don't you introduce yourself first? Sure. My name is Terry Foster. I am a Constellations Fellow, fourth year. Um, I love, love, love computer science, obviously, like all of us. Um, I'm so excited about the summit this year. Um, this is um, something that I look forward to every summer doing the summit, networking with you all out there. And so uh, the next two days, we have some very exciting sessions and panels um, and keynote speakers. And so I'm looking forward to it all and can't wait to meet some of you all. Thanks, Terry. Uh, so, Babu. Great morning, Jumbo. Habaragani, bonjour. I am very happy to be here. I'm Sababu Shaka Abarashango, a Constellations Fellow and Research Associate. Uh, I hope that during these next two days um, that you are inspired, that you connect, and that you are empowered, and then pass that on to the students once you return to the school. I believe we do have something for everyone, for elementary school educators, middle school educators, high school educators, um, instructional coaches, administrators, just please come and learn, enjoy, and then take it back and teach somebody else. <laughs> Thank you, Sababu. I think um, that's a, a great segue for some of the things that I wanted to, you know, um, talk about before we kick off the summit. And I absolutely agree with Sababu. I think, um, first of all, you being here uh, during the summer, you know, in the middle of June with us says a lot about um, you as an educator. And our goal is really to be here uh, and provide as much support in the best way, you know, possible that we can for you. We have sessions for K-5, we have sessions for middle school, we have sessions for high school, we have something you know, for administrators um, and even for college faculty as well. Um, we hope that you take advantage of you know, all the sessions that are available at the summit. You will see um, 
or hear from in the chat or see on the screen from each and every one of us uh, throughout the next couple of days. And um, I want to not only welcome you and thank you, but encourage you to reach out to us and all of the presenters as well in their sessions. Each of the presenters, and I know this because we've had direct contact with them um, and have worked with them to uh, plan the summit. Each one of the presenters are so passionate about what they do. And they, you know, they care for teachers, they absolutely care for students, and um, they have the same philosophy and belief as we do. We want to support teachers and we want to, you know, continue to promote equity uh, for students, for all of our students as well. So I encourage you to get to know your presenters, um, you know, contact them, reach out to them, and also reach out to any one of us as well, too. Um, Brian or Levita, anything else you want to add to that? Uh, I love, Lynn, that we started off with networking, because um, I think that's an essential aspect of, of this experience, is that we're building a community, right? We're growing together, we're getting stronger. Um, don't feel isolated. Uh, feel free to reach out to us, reach out to each other, um, and share. Like, this is, a, this, is, this, this is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be us developing this new K-12 discipline from the ground up, so let's build it together. Um, so the other thing that I want to review as well with you is take a little bit of time also to go through the schedule. Um, we do have that listed uh, on the reception page. Uh, if you click on reception, you can scroll down and see the schedule for both days. If you want a little bit more information, we can post the a link to the um, web page where you can also uh, look at the schedule, also get to know the presenters a little bit more, um, and you know just become familiar with the scheduling. The timing for today, uh, I'm sorry, let me rephrase. The timing for tomorrow is slightly different <laughs> than the timing for today. We have to kind of switch a few things to accommodate uh, all of the sessions and the presenters uh, tomorrow. So in about 15 or 20 minutes, we are going to have our first keynote today. Um, each morning is set up that way where we first do networking, give you some time to uh, look at the expo as well, and then we'll kick it off um, with, the, with the keynote and then we'll have breakout sessions. Um, following that, then we'll go to lunch and then we'll come back on the stage for some guest speakers. And then we'll have some breakout sessions and then uh, we'll be back on the stage at the end of the day. So that's sort of the flow of each day. Um, and if you have any questions about that, just reach out to any one of us about that. Um, I wanted to say just a little bit more about the expo as well. These are uh, virtual booths or digital booths from some partners that uh, have, you know, um, really done a lot of work with uh, supporting uh, teacher professional development. And there's some really great information uh, in those virtual booths. So, you know, take the time to go explore, watch those videos and get connected with uh, those professional development providers. And there's also a booth in there with um, highlighting CS Education All-Stars. And these are teachers who were nominated, presenters who are presenting at our summit um, that really de deserve a lot of acknowledgement. You know, they, they've, they've worked really hard uh, in their profession to support CS Education and, um, you know, support all kids to have the access and opportunity to computer science. So I urge you to uh, take a look at that booth, um, watch the video. You can also scroll down if you wanna just, you know, go through the slides that there's an option uh, in that booth also for you to um, scroll through the slides if um, 
if uh, you prefer to do it that way. But there's a video and there's also slides there as well, too. Um, and if you want to nominate a teacher uh, to be acknowledged, send me a message or any one of us a message and we will add them throughout the summit. We will be able to add them throughout the summit. So if you want to nominate a teacher to be acknowledged as a CS all-star, CS you know, educator all-star, um, just send us a note. We accept self-nominations as well too. Um, so please uh, just contact us and we will be able to add you all to, um, to that presentation. And um, now for a little bit of fun stuff too. So we are going to be doing prize drawings throughout the summit today and tomorrow. Uh, we'll mainly be doing those prize drawings when we're on the stage. So, um, you know, pay, um, pay close attention to when we're on the stage. <clears throat> there are a couple of forms that you have to complete. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, Terry and Levita and Sababu are going to help kind of explain all of that as well, too. So I'll hand it over to you, Terry. Thank you, Lynn. So um, starting today or starting in a few minutes, actually, we'll be um, using this little online tool to randomly select names. Um, for those of you who filled out the Google form, um, asking for your name, your location, your school. Um, thank you so much for doing so. And if you haven't filled that out, please do so. Um, that puts you inside of the raffle uh, drawing and um, we'll be having some prizes for um, for that. There's also a game card that we sent you uh, access to. I think that was emailed to you. Um, but then we'll also, is, is that correct? That was emailed out, correct? Okay. So if you complete that game card, you have to obviously network using the networking tool. There's a people button on your left. If you click on that during the times that we allow for networking, um, you should be able to get information from some of the folks that are here in the session and complete that card. And you will then upload that card to the Google folder that we indicated um, in the instructions. And um, in addition to obviously networking with these amazing professionals, um, you all have an opportunity to win a really, really cool prize. That covered all. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then, um, so so the um, so the prize drawings are going to be happening when we're on the stage. Sometimes we'll do one. Sometimes we'll do multiple. Right? Prize drawings. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is you do have to be present to win. Mm -hmm. um, so, but uh, you can complete complete the form. Complete the form, and that way you get entered. Um, but uh, we are asking that you are, are present uh, to win. And the networking game card, when you complete that, Terry, is that a separate separate pool of uh, participants? That Correct. So we will separate, separate the price. two. So, yeah. Oh, awesome. 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 OK. Which um, means the prizes should be better for that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, OK, and then and so Terry and Levita will be um, managing or doing the prize drawings. Uh, so Bob was going to be helping with posting information on the chat and curating, you know, uh, questions or um, if you need assistance, we can um, uh, kind of have that organized and Sabalu so is going to help us do that. Um, Brian and myself will be helping with facilitating uh, the stage sessions and all of us will be assisting with the concurrent sessions too. So we'll be in the background um, in case you need, you know, need us for anything. Okay. Anything else? Nah, I think this is going to be fun. Looking forward to it. All right. All right. So we do have a full house up already. Um, we are um, about to make some introductions for our uh, keynote speakers. And um, I think before we do that, um, 
I think each of us might want to, you know, chime in on just some, just some reflections on sort of the current, you know, state of, of, of CS education that we've been experiencing. So I know, uh, you know, just from my experiences and my perspective, we have come a long way in computer science education, uh, both at, you know, at the state level and at, and at the national level, we've, we really have come a long way. There's a lot more awareness. There are a lot more collective efforts in supporting computer science education. Um, and, and, I'm, and I've been really, you know, pleased um, and uh, excited about all of these efforts to support computer science education. Um, you know, especially prior to this, in the work that uh, I was involved with to create a new AP computer science, you know, principles course, that whole experience was really phenomenal for me. And then coming to the Constellation Center as well was a really awesome transition um, to be able to focus at the, you know, the school system level, at the state level, and working more directly with teachers. And I just wanna say that for me, working directly with teachers has been really very meaningful, <laughs> very meaningful for me, um, especially during the last couple of years, going through the pandemic, going through COVID-19 that brought up so many challenges and surfaced so many issues about our education system and um you know learning from teachers about what they were struggling with uh was very eye-opening for all of us for for myself and and the team i work with um but there are a couple of things that i i think are worthy you know of sharing one you know teachers they are pretty resilient and they're very passionate about what they do. We're all former teachers. I've been removed from the classroom for a very long time, but I am a former teacher and I do remember those experiences. Um, but in you know this recent work that I've been doing, working directly with teachers has affirmed that. Uh, I will also say that I, I believe that structurally, we need a better system to support teachers. And we've been working on that. We've really been working on better ways to support teachers, uh, especially computer science teachers as well. Um, and the other thing that I've, you know, learned through the, the work uh, through Constellations is that we know we all care about students. And the students that we are wanting to attract or recruit into uh, our computer science classrooms come with, they come with so much talent. Um, they might not know what computer science is at first <laughs> when they come into computer science classroom, but when they come into a computer science classroom with a teacher who truly cares about their success in the classroom, those students rise to the occasion, those students then become superstars. And that's, you know, for me, that's really been what this work is all about. Uh, and there's definitely a lot more work to be done, um, a lot more challenges that we need to overcome and a lot more barriers to break down. Um, so I wanna give everybody else a chance to also contribute, but I want to give a shout out to all the teachers who are here with all the challenges and struggles that you have had to uh, deal with and, and overcome. Being here today means so much to me and everyone on this team. And, um, and uh, you know, just, just, I just want to say that um, it, that means, that means a lot that you're here with us today. Um, Brian or Anyone else, uh, if you wanted to chime in on that? Yeah, um, so I'm also very grateful for the teachers, but I'm also grateful for the partnerships. Um, 
in addition to the work that we that you all are doing on the ground level, it's amazing to me all the different uh, players, whether they're industry partners or community partners or um, philanthropic uh, folks, like all the different partners that are coming to play in this space um, and looking for ways to support teachers. Like I've met so many different people that were former educators that were so passionate and decided to go and do more PD for other teachers or uh, build a platform to support teachers or things like that. Um, so I think the partners also are a big part of this movement and this rollout. Um, so I'm, I'm grateful for, for all of their all of their help and all their support. And the fact that we can all work together and not be a competitive space, like that's one of the, the amazing things that I found in, in this in this uh, ecosystem is that like there's no ego like it's, it's it's I'm here to to first and foremost support teachers and students and grow computer science and I'm also here to make a little money or to make a name for myself or anything like that but first and foremost I want to support this growth so uh, the lack of ego the, the lack of um, overt competitiveness is is very uh, inspiring for me so mm -hmm. I'm also excited that you'll be able to hear from Terry and Sababu later as well, too. Um, they are also former classroom teachers and Levita as well. Um, and, um, you know, I I, uh, I value their experiences um, and I value, you know, what they bring to um, to being able to support teachers um, in the right way. And um, Terry or Sababu, if you all wanted to comment or share some of your reflections? Oh, well, um, I was going to say that uh, I'm uh, blessed that you all welcomed me onto the team. So I was a mathematics and computer science educator as well um, there in the trenches fighting with the students. Uh, but now I get to fight for them on several different levels um, by assisting educators, um, by uh, interacting with administrators um, and uh, college faculty and partners, as Mr. Cox stated. Um, but one thing that I'll say, uh, just in the interest of time, is um, like this father said in the movie Interceptor, what we're doing is very important. He didn't say that part, but he said this next line, never stop fighting. Never stop I agree and I'm going to be brief. Um, I just want to say that, you know, the support is amazing. And as Lynn mentioned, we're all former classroom teachers. So never feel like you can't reach out to us. We are here to support you. We're here to uplift you and we are here to move the work forward. Um, you know, being in this role now, I can say that you know, I feel like a lot of the work that I did for my students now, I'm just so grateful I'm able to bring it to more students across the state and around the nation. Um, mm -hmm. So continue to do great things. And we're going to continue to see all of our seeds that are being planted. They're going to continue to bloom. And to piggyback on uh, what Lavita and Sababa both said, and I'll be brief as well, um, the power of community, you know, can't be denied. You know, um, don't be afraid to reach out. Earlier this summer, Sababa and I were on a, on a on a PD at Tinker, and we ended up um, networking with some amazing teachers across the nation. And you'd be surprised how many teachers just need to hear a familiar voice or someone to lean, have someone to lean on or bounce ideas off of. So that networking piece that we allow you all to um, participate in in the session, please take advantage of that. The power of community is is something else, man. It helps us. It helps us. It helps us make it through this crazy world. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you all for that. Um, so again, we want to welcome everyone who's here. Um, you know, whether you're from California or New York or Texas or Virginia or Georgia, uh, we are so happy and grateful that you're here with us today. We welcome all of you um, to the summit and uh, hope that you will enjoy the next couple of days.